Becky Kunkel. How are you? I'm good. Hi, Victoria. I am so excited to get to talk to you today about Splash of Color. Yay. I'm excited to you, period. <laughs> Yes, especially about Splash of Color. Yes, a rainbow of brilliant black and white quilt. Did I get yep. it right? You got it right. I got it right. I'm looking at the cover. I better get it right, right? There it is. Okay, this is just like, first of all, the fact that we're getting to chat via FaceTime when we live like three hours apart from each other. I could fly over and see you like in a you half an hour. You could totally fly over. It's kind of like ridiculous that the only time we get to see each other is like in Houston. I know, which is crazy. <laughs> and I will see you there, right? <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. I'm not missing this, girl. You got your book <laughs> out. Yay. I know. Thank you. Well, and you're even wearing black and white today. I am. I figured, I, I figured I'd commemorate the occasion. Okay. <laughs> and I sat here because there's lots of color going on behind me. I figured between there the two of us. We got it we're good. Work, we're working the book. <laughs> we sure are. So tell me about the book. So one of the things, I mean, as you know, I, I love to work with color. I always have. Yes, you lots do. Of bright, lots of bright and bold color. And I one of the things that I think makes that bright and bold color stand out even more is putting it against a black or a white background. And, and in this case, in this book, it's mostly black and whites combined. Right. And I love, um, I've always, always loved working with black and white prints. And I love um, combining the different scale prints. And most of the time, the black and white prints are real fun, too. They're, they're, you can get a little bit of whimsy in your quilt without going overboard with a color print. Like if you, yeah. you know, had a floral or something and right. you're not, you are not don't want to use a floral, yeah. you can get some whimsy in there by using some black and white print that is a little, um, I got a sun streak there. There we go. Yeah, it's, the okay. sun's, it's pretty. Um, <laughs> you look magical. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, so I, it, by combining those black and white prints with those bold colors, really creates a cool design on a quilt or otherwise, even if you were doing something, you know, you, they're kind of, you kind of liken them to the Zentangle kind of thing. Right. You know, there's Zentangles, Lots a lot of, of prints, which gives a lot yeah. of texture and sash yep. busting with all your rainbow colors. It's yeah. So awesome. Oh yeah. And it's, it's fantastic. So I thought what, you know, better way to put it out there to people who enjoy it by doing a book, and years ago, actually, and I want to say it was probably in 2008 or nine, something like that, I started a blog, actually still up there, too. Um, it's called the Black and White Quilt Challenge Project. Okay. We had 100 uh, people who began contributing to it, and the challenge was that you were to make a quilt with black and white fabrics and then add some color into it, and then right. when you, you know, doing it, you posted your photos, of, and it was over a year's period, I think, we did it, which is really cool. So there were quite a lot of people who loved doing doing what I was doing in the book here. Right. So, um, you know, it's kind of just an extension of that in a way. Yeah. So do you, you know, I was flipping through your book and looking at a bunch of the quilts. I have a favorite. Do you yeah. have a favorite in the book? Um, I actually have two, fa I, I, well, of course I like them all, but I think there's two that are probably my most favorite ones. Mm -hmm. Um, the very first one I made for the book was Lava Lamps. That's my favorite one. <laughs> that is my favorite one. I it's love that so one. so cool. I love the shapes. Yep. Everything about it. Interesting thing about that one is that there's two pieces to the whole thing. There's two pieces... And depending, you can really create a cool design. You don't have to de necessarily go with the design that I did in my book. But by taking those two shapes and varying where you're putting your color right. or your white in whatever case, um, you can get you can get this, you know, cool looking design. Um, so that's one of my favorite, favorite ones. And I did a play on the black and white per se in that right. because I – collecting in my stash for years. I've been collecting black prints with lots of color lots in of it. Lots of color, yeah. Like little, little dots and little things like that. And then white prints 
with lots of colors, usually dots or squares or something like that. Right. So that's kind of an all, another play on that rainbow of black and white. Totally. Right. And the, the way that you use the prints and the scale of the dots, it gets yeah. so much crazy movement inside of that quilt that it's, it's just fabulous. I mean, there's I, just effects I, in there that you can't, you couldn't even, I mean, you're not going to find a fabric in, all in one that's going to do that. But it looks like you've used two pieces of fabrics, but there's so much movement. And when you look closely and there's like a billion different kinds of prints in there, it's just a genius quilt, Jackie. I love that quilt. Thank you. And it's fun to play with, too. I'm going to just walk around this way so I don't have that sun shining in my, <laughs> because it looks like you can't see me. So anyway. So I'm moving around. Sorry about okay, that. Okay, we can see you. Sorry about that, clear everybody. <laughs> Not a problem. Um, and the second quilt that's my one of my most favorites is, uh, and it was the second quilt I actually made for the book too, uh, Proud Mary. Um, and that one is a take on the Drunkard's Path. Okay. Block. Um, I love working with curves, and I know you do yes, too. Yes, totally. Um, uh, that's putting it lightly. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I wanted to take the drunkard's path to a little different level, and I inserted a little color into it. That's and with then, the little bar strips that go through. Yeah. That quilt. Yeah. I love that one too. Yeah. And then by taking, you know, and then by taking your black and white prints, and I organized them on the di even though on the quilt diagonal that way, dark and to, light. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so you get a really cool effect, and I named that one after my grandmother. Oh, so. that's sweet. Yeah. So, yeah. anyways, those are my two two favorite quilts in the, in the book, partly because of the curves and partly because of the the fabrics and the way I just put them together. I just right. So. And so all the quilts in the book are patterns, uh, not not are they paper pieced? You have some with flying geese and stuff in there. Are there some paper piecing in there too? So there's two okay. that are paper pieced. The so, um, star bright. Is yeah. paper pieced. Okay. And then um, jumping jacks is, uh -huh. or jumping jacks <laughs> is paper pieced. Um, and people, you know, and I didn't say it in the book on jumping jacks, but you see that I um, spelled it with a J A X. With an X. Yep. Yeah. And the reason I spelled it that way is because my husband has always referred to me as Jax spelled with an X. Aww. So, and I didn't say that in there, but that's why, that's how I came up with the, instead of the normal J-A-C-K-S, the wow. Jax. that is very sweet, but I know your <laughs> husband, and I know he's very sweet anyway, so I'm not surprised. So that was really <laughs> cute that you put that in there. <laughs> um, wow. But those are the only two that are paper pieces. All the others are, are regular pieces. I mean, you could probably do, you could probably do the um, ones that I had paper pieced regular piece. One is the star bright's a Lemoyne star. Right. You can certainly do a Lemoyne star regular piece, yeah. but I just find it easier to do a paper piece because you're not dealing with all those diamonds. Right. You know, and all the, the bias with the diamonds. So I just found it easier to set it up that way in the instructions. So they have, for those two paper piece ones, they actually have the uh, templates of the paper foundations in the book where they can copy them off right. to make the quilts. So. Great. And well, instructions too. Of course. How many how many quilts are in the book? There are, I believe, it's thirteen, twelve or thirteen. Hang on. So it's yeah, it's about twelve. I think it's thirteen total. Yeah. Well, that's very exciting. Yeah. So, besides you have the book out, you also your crafty classes are just coming out, right? It Can you tell us a little bit? Yeah, it just came out this past Monday, the 24th of August, okay. um, which was really exciting for me, actually. Um, I, I, as a lot of people who are going to be listening to this know, I'm a certified Judy Niemeyer instructor. Right. So I travel and I teach not only my stuff, but I also teach a lot of her stuff. And this was a collaboration between myself, Judy Niemeyer, and Craftsy um, so that we could you know, have a wider audience because there's a, we, I personally have gotten many, many requests to do an online class and with the Judy Niemeyer technique and so has Judy as well. And we decided that Craftsy, we were, we were going to try and work something out with them and we did and we came up with a very unique 
design unique to Judy Niemeyer, um, and I wrote all the patterns for it and um, made them. I spent a good part of my summer making all the projects for the right. class and uh, filmed it. But better yet, it's not just about the actual pattern or project that comes with the class. It's about the, the technique and the method, um, which I think a lot of Judy Niemeyer fans um, are really hankering for because they buy the patterns and then they're like, I don't know how to do this. Right. But so you have a lot of really amazing tips and tricks for oh people my. who want to know how to paper piece. If you want to learn how to do it, that's the way you should learn how to do it. Yeah, right. it's, and it's fantastic. And the nice thing is that you, you pay the, it, the, the classes, it, not just the class that I did, but any class on crafts, is a fantastic value. How, how can you possibly go wrong you sp by spending $30, $40 on a class and get it complete and then have it for life? You right. have the pattern, you have the instructions, you can always go back and, for, and you have it for life. It's a great, great value. Right. So right. if anybody's looking to, to learn how to do it, it's a great way. If you don't have access to a teacher, you know, if you can't travel to a shop and you don't have access, it's a fantastic way to do it. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations on all that. Is there anything else that we need to know? Well. What else you got I'm, for us? I'm going to extend an invitation to everybody. Um, I have scheduled a book launch party. Yay. At, at my studio here in Connecticut. Very um, nice. The book launch party is November 4th. Um, and they can read all about it on my website, cvquiltworks.com. Yeah. Uh, we will be having all the quilts from the book will be there on the design walls. We right. will be having giveaways, refreshments. We'll be having, um, we'll also have lots and lots of black and white fabric, uh, <laughs> bright and bold fabric that people can purchase if they want. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, that uh, sounds like a great so, time. I love your studio space there anyway. It makes me completely yeah. jealous. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, but it'll be fun because it'll be set up a little different, too, because, it'll, you know, it's going to be more of a party kind right. of thing. And, you know, I'll obviously, if you don't have the books, I'll be there signing uh, the books. So I, it's, and it's free. So you just need to go on my website and all we're doing is you just click register and we just want to get a head count, kind right. of just to know how many people are going to be coming. So it's free. If anybody is interested in coming, block off that November 4th okay. date and register on my site. And I'd love to see everybody. Mm, so you, I'm going to have to look at my calendar. What, night, <laughs> what day is that? You're pretty, it's a Saturday. Oh, girl. I was going to say, you're a pretty busy ga gal yourself. That's pretty tough. Yeah. I'll have to look it up. The 4th? Well, Did you say the 4th? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a Wednesday. Isn't it? Oh, hang on then. November fourth. November? Yeah. Hang on a second then. Let me give you the right date. Maybe it's the fourteenth. Seriously, my, my calendar's oh. never far from my face. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I said the fourth. Scratch that people. The seventh. It's the fourteenth. Well the fourteenth. <laughs> it had a four in it. <laughs> ah. Okay. I got it in my phone. Yeah, there you go. Cool. See so what are, I you, can do. are you available then? I'm I'm actually around, but I'll have to see if I can make it up that far. Oh, well, we'd love to have you. You know that I have a lot of Victoria Finley Wolf groupies here that would love to see your face again. I right? so wish I could get back up there and do something. No. I miss it up there. And it is I such know. a great space. You're yeah. a lucky duck, girl. I consider myself pretty lucky to have friends like you and friends like I have here. I mean, without, you know, you know what it's like without friends that we have things that we do just don't happen exactly. because we you surround yourself with good people and good things happen yeah that's for sure so, so jackie i'm so excited that your book is out i'm happy to Thanks. share it i can't wait for everybody else to see it because you do beautiful Thanks. work and uh, good luck with it thank you ma'am it's really good to see you now next time i actually do want you face to face here in my in my well we are room. we will and act and well, I'll talk to you after we're done. <laughs> How's that sound? That sounds good. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Jackie. Thank you. All right, bye.